Hello everyone, welcome back to Venture Onward. So, today I plan to cover the second issue of the 2011 Avenging Spider-Man, where Spider-Man and the Red Hulk, aka Thunderbolt Ross, find themselves at the mercy of the Moloids while J. Jonah Jameson gears up to battle the Brute King. Z.E.B. Wells wrote the story with illustrations by Joe Maduriera and Ferran Daniel. Please do me a solid and like and subscribe and hit that notification button, which I would greatly appreciate. Now let's get to the story. Some time passes, and the worm creature from the last issue arrives at Subterranea and spits out Spider-Man and the Red Hulk. Meanwhile, despite Mole Man's pleas, Jameson refuses to bow to the Mole Man's captor, the new Brute King of Subterranea. The King demands Jameson to fall in line, but Jameson, in return, tells him to speak English with them as they are still on American soil. The King orders his people to remove Jameson from the room while Mole Man tells him that he is a fool and that he has no idea what he has started. Elsewhere, the worm creature Molaloids are dragging Spider-Man and the Red Hulk to some unknown location. However, when Spider-Man wakes up from his nap he finds himself on top of the Red Hulk's massive chest as he is restrained. Spider-Man and Red Hulk have a back and forth, and Spider-Man wonders why the Red Hulk hasn't busted out, and the Red Hulk responds that he wants to see their HQ and raise it to the ground. However, Spider-Man dryly says that someone had already beaten him to it. Suddenly a Molioid blows a horn as Red Hulk gets ready for a brawl that is until Spider-Man holds him back and believes that the Molioids that are standing in front of them are just kids. One of the Molioid kids holds a ripped poster of Jameson, making Spider-Man realize that Jameson is here and believe that these creatures need their help. At the same time, the Red Hulk says they are an opposition force. In return, Spider-Man offers to make a treaty with the Molioids in, which Red Hulk says, Spider-Man does not give orders to him. However, Spidey comes back saying that they are Avengers, and it does not get to be simple. Hulk then responds by asking if he does not help would Spidey be able to handle this on his own. Spider-Man doesn't believe he can, but that will not stop him from trying to help. Back with Jameson and the Mole Man, Mole Man tells Jameson how the Moloids fled above ground to beg for help from the invading Molans that appeared from the Uber Depths and took over Subterranea. Instead, the Moloids brought Mole Man, a frail man. Mole Man then tells Jameson that he just challenged the new king when he would not bow to him. Later, the Brute King demands that the Mole Man needs to translate to Jameson that the king will make Jameson's death and then eat his soft lands. The king then stands to grab his weapon, the Hardstone, and when he is ready to make his move to attack Jameson, Red Hulk walks in with Spider-Man Jameson immediately blames Spider-Man but stops himself. The Underground King asked the Red Hulk if he was the king's champion. The Red Hulk says, sure, why not? Spider-Man says they should leave since they have Jameson. However, Red Hulk says the best way to end this war, and without explaining his reason, Red Hulk charges toward the would-be king with Mole Man excited. Immediately the king edges out some of Red Hulk's blood, surprising the Red Hulk as the Subterranea King gains the upper hand. When the king is about to hit the final blow, Spider-Man then throws a web on the King's hard stone and tries to pull it back. Still, the King is too strong. Even with Spider-Man's help, the Brute King delivers the final blow. He hits his blade to the Red Hulk's chest, putting Spider-Man, Mole Man, and Jameson in shock and bringing the story to a cliffhanger. So that was issue number 2 of the Avenging Spider-Man series that happened in 2011. I like learning that not all Moloids are bad. I also was a fan of how Jameson is portrayed in this series, although I was surprised to find him not blaming Spider-Man for once. Please leave a like and comment about your thoughts on the Avenging Spider-Man number 2 issue. I plan to cover the whole arc, so stay tuned. Please do me a solid and like and subscribe and hit that notification button. Until then, venture onward.